Maybe all that glitters is not gold, but when gold is consolidating like it is right now, you might want to pay attention. Hi, this is Tim from TradingStrategyGuides.com. Thanks to my friend and trading coach, Casey Stubbs, for pointing out today's awesome gold setup. And I'm going to show you that in just a couple of minutes. Remember, you can speed this video up by clicking the gear icon in the lower right of the video and selecting a new speed. Now let's take a look at some of our open trades. I mentioned last night on Twitter that our Disney setup from Monday's video triggered yesterday. So I'm long Disney from 143. 53 with my stop loss at 140 45 my target at 145 60 uh, the market just opened up about 15 minutes ago so this is looking pretty nice i was a little bit concerned about this push down yesterday uh, this is looking pretty like it might hit our target shortly i also mentioned on twitter this week that our litecoin setup from last friday's video triggered and hit our first target so that's nice that's always fun to see. In Wednesday's video, though, I mentioned making a stupid mistake. Yeah, I do that once in a while. And I entered this long right here. This is the prior line. And I entered long right here on this candle. And the stupidity was, you can see that we did not have enough volume on that candle. So, you know, my excuse is that I was looking at my phone at the time and took the trade from my phone and forgot to look at the volume. I don't typically make those mistakes if I'm sitting in front of my trading platform, but from my phone I've been known to do that. That's the reason I have the volume rule to begin with. If the move happens on low volume, it's often just a head fake like this one. I close this for a small loss on this close back inside the triangle, and I redrew the triangle, and this push up right here fit a lot better with these candles. We got this big volume push down on Wednesday. Took the trade short right here on full volume. Hit my target yesterday. And we're currently locked in right here at break even. And that's where we're waiting right now. You know, one of my trading maxims is a smart man learns from his mistakes. A wise man learns from other people's mistakes. Please learn from my stupid mistake and pay attention to all the signals before taking the trade. You may end up missing a good move once in a while, but you'll also miss a bunch of bad news. And you know, we not only win by winning, we also win by not losing. Boston Beer looks like it's making a new consolidation right up here in the form of a trading range. And uh, this may give us another opportunity to get in here. And I will take it, even if this trade is still open, I will take a signal as if it were brand new right up here. Uh, I did move the stop up to just below this consolidation. I think I mentioned the other day I had it at 371.72, and I mentioned that I was not going to move it up until I got a new high. But when I saw this consolidation here, I thought, well, this could break to the downside or to the upside. If it breaks to the upside, that's fine. We'll go long, and we'll have two positions in. If it breaks to the downside, I want it I want to be out of it at a reasonable spot. So I moved my current stop to 377.25, locking in $15.77 on the second half here, and we'll see what it does. Well, Tesla moved down to within 11 cents of my stop loss right here, did not take me out, and so I'm still in. I moved my stop up earlier this morning to 232 to lock in 483. But that was before this push-up. This push-up is on light volume right now, so I'm, I'm not going to do anything with my stop loss yet. But if we get good volume and it stays up here high, I'll probably put my uh, stop up here to 235.88 uh, near the end of the day. Remember what I've said about increasing trader disinterest. You know, the reduced volume and volatility, reducing reducing. We could get another consolidation in here. Uh, and again, you know, I was looking at this before this push-up. I thought maybe it would consolidate in here. We'll just see what this does. If this pulls back into, uh, you know, to below this level, 
then this may just go sideways for a while and we may have another opportunity to get long. Also, remember you can't get married to these markets. I love Tesla as a company. They've got some amazing technology products and I, lo I love to look at them. Uh, their batteries, and you know the batteries are just kind of an offshoot of their automotive technology. I guess, or maybe it's the other way around. But it doesn't matter because if the chart tells me to sell, I'll sell faster than you can say the chart says sell. Well, maybe it'll take me a little longer than that, but you get what I'm saying. Just don't get married to these markets. All right, I hope you're ready to look at gold this morning. I'm always ready to look at gold. This is a continuation triangle on gold. Right there. Boom. Boom. Typically, we can expect a continuation triangle to break in the direction of the incoming trend. This nice incoming trend is part of a continuation triangle. In this case, so, we would anticipate a break to the upside. However, I will happily trade this one in either direction. When the market consolidates, you want to look for trader disinterest. Traders getting bored. Volume drops off. Volatility drops off. In this case, the volume is dropping off, but it hasn't been confirmed by the volatility yet. However, I wouldn't expect a pattern like this to break for a few bars yet. Maybe right in here somewhere, so there's still time for the volatility to drop off. Remember, the average true range, or ATR, is the tool that I use to measure volatility. It shows an average range of the last 14 candles. So it may take a little bit of time for this indicator to catch up. That's the reason why I put the question mark here. We do have a little bit of a drop off for one day. Like I say, this isn't really due to break for a few candles yet. So here's the plan. I will buy a daily close above the triangle, or I will sell a daily close below the triangle. There has to be at least average volume to trade full size. So the average is the blue line here. This bar will need to hit that line. I will take a half size position if we get at least 75% of the average volume. And you can calculate that using the volume and the average volume numbers right there. That reduces our risk on the trade in case it just hit big ones. The stop loss will be 1.5 times the average true range behind your entry, and the first target will be 1 times the ATR ahead of your entry. On the breakout candle, you'll look at the ATR here. You'll multiply that number by 1.5. If it's breaking out to the downside, you will add that to your entry point. Find out where your stop loss is. So if your entry is down here, this will be like $30 above. You will then use that same average true range on the breakout candle, and your first target will be, in this case, about $20 below. And, of course, reverse for a buy trade. If you want more details about how I manage my trades and how I set them up, check out my trade management video from a few weeks ago. I'll put the link below this video. Here you go. It's everybody's favorite time, trading maxim time. The trading maxim is simply a general truth fundamental principle, or a rule of conduct, or sometimes just a proverbial saying. Some of my maxims I use to keep me focused during my trading. Others are just motivational quotes that I find useful in general. I use these maxims to help me not only in my trading, but in my life focus. Most of my maxims come from reading, or the suggestions of friends or coaches or teachers or other acquaintances. I'll add a new maxim to my list whenever I find something that fits me. I hope they help you as much as they've helped me. Today we're going to draw another fun one from the archives. Head first towards the uncomfortable. Number 42 from Brent Fikowski. You know, if you've been a subscriber here for more than 30 seconds, you probably know that I do CrossFit because the first rule of CrossFit is always talk about CrossFit. And if someone is not talking about CrossFit, then it's up to you to change the subject back to CrossFit. Okay, enough of the CrossFit jokes, at least for now. In any case, Brent Fikowski is an amazing CrossFit Games athlete, and he's right. If you want to progress in anything, you've got to be willing to do what you find to be uncomfortable. And that's how you stand out from the crowd. If you find chart analysis to be uncomfortable, you should be doing it. If you find back testing to be uncomfortable, or forward testing, or whatever, then that's what you should be doing. We are usually most comfortable doing things that we're good at. 
So if we want to be good at everything, we need to be willing to work on the things we're not so good at so we can become good and comfortable with those things. Strive to be uncomfortable. Remember our trade plan here. We're going to look for a daily close above the triangle to buy or a daily close below the triangle to sell gold. If the volume is not quite average, go half size as long as it's at least 75% of the average. Your stop loss is one and a half times the ATR. Your first target is one times the ATR. And remember to check out the trade management video for more details. The link is below. If you've got a day job and you don't have time to analyze charts, this should be helpful to you. Trading Strategy Guides now offers the Strike Trader Elite Trade Signals service. You'll get Forex trade signals on a dozen or so pairs on several different time frames, all based on the Strike Trader Elite system. Look below the video for a link to the free signals on the Telegraph application. I'll also post a link to my video that explains the Strike Trader Elite system. And be sure to come back to Trading Strategy Guide's YouTube channel every week on Monday and Friday for my analysis videos and Wednesday morning for my training webinar. And check out the blog for great trading strategies. I'll put the link below. Also, follow me on Twitter. If things happen between my videos, I'll post them on Twitter. I'll put my Twitter link below. Please tell your friends about us and help us make this the best trading channel on the Internet. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and don't forget to hit the thumbs up below. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you next week.